being here and watching us, everyone. Uh, this is Wayne. Wayne is going to do the physical aspect of this presentation. Uh, my name is Alan. So Wayne has bought a set of patterns to create a schooner and a dory shape together with a flower box. So we're going to start by opening up this plan. Wayne is going to open the package now. Okay, Wayne's going to take a pair of scissors, which is the first of the tools, and he's going to trim both the dory and the schooner to end up with the shapes. Now Wayne has picked up a piece of Bristol board and he's going to draw a line showing the shape and then ultimately will cut templates out of the pieces of Bristol board. Okay, Wayne has set up his table saw using all the proper safety precautions. Please, in this operation, be careful of your fingers, but we've now created the dory shape and the schooner shape in our plywood. And by the way, this is a piece of solid one side or select plywood that cost about $14 at the local lumber company. You can obviously use uh, a better grade, you can use a thicker grade or a thinner grade, but we found that this piece of 3 8 4 by 4 works best. He now is going to prepare the two shapes for priming and that you pay, you pay special attention to the edges to get the rough edges off on both sides and make sure that the surfaces are nice and clean. If your piece of wood requires any filling, this is a, this is the phase that you would actually do the filling. All right, now what we're finding is the finished, the paint finished schooner shape. And in order to get the lines on it, we're going to lay it over with a piece of graphite paper, which simply means that when we lay the shape and draw the lines, they're going to appear on our finished surface below. The next thing that we want to put on are the curved lines but now we're going to switch to a flex curve, but it comes in very useful. And what Wayne will do is, when he gets it lined up, he's going to sketch in all of the curved lines. Okay, Wayne's cutting the frog tape, just narrow pieces off each edge which, as I say, conserves it, makes it go further, and makes it easier to work with. So using the straight edge, this is the next phase. 
which is to prepare for the black paint. Okay, now we've finished with the schooner. The dory is virtually done, so rather than take you through step by step, I'll explain this stage. What we've done is taken the primed dory and put a coat of dory buff, which is the typical color of a Lunenburg dory. For emphasis of the lines, we have used a masking tape again around and painted the green and the red just to give it some emphasis. The thing that's missing in the dory at this stage are these four and a half lines which simulate the shape of the planking. Now by adjusting the Sharpie permanent ink pen and he has pre-marked the marks where the planks begin and end this is Wayne now assembling the flower box, which has been pre-cut according to the plan, pre-drilled and countersunk in order to make it go more easily. So first both sides attach to the bottom and we'll put a couple screws in just to hold it. Now we have the completed unit. Uh, we've attached the dory with a couple stainless steel screws and the box has been painted, in this case white, and that is ready to go on the wall. And typically what we'll do is drill three holes across the back of the flower box, countersink them, and then use probably, uh, depending upon the mounting, maybe three inch all-weather screws to hold it in place. Uh, once it's up, it should be there for the long haul. So thanks Wayne, this would tend to conclude other than the installation on the selected spot, uh, our program for today. Thank you.